In this video we're going to look at simple interest. We'll do these four examples. Example 1, 2, 3 and example 4. Okay. So let's start off with a definition of simple interest. And again, you can either print these off from the website or you can just, you know, write write it down if you want. Um, so in any case, simple interest is paid on the principal only, not on interest earned. Okay and uh, we'll go over this and see what it means so if you invest a thousand dollars at six percent simple interest for four years what happens well let's do this we'll look at um, the um, year um, and then the interest right and then uh, figure out the balance. So basically, put balance over here, I guess. So basically, um, year zero is when we invest a thousand dollars, right? And year one, we are going to, so this would be end, you know, year one or, or, or if you want to think of it end of year one end of year one so after one year um, we get six percent simple interest on the thousand dollars so that's simply uh, you've got to calculate like six percent of one thousand and uh, well I guess I'll just write it here six percent of one thousand so calculate that what's that So I hope we're really familiar with this by now. 6%, turn that into a decimal. 6% is 6 per 100, 6 hundredths, which is 0 0.06, not 0 0.6, it's 0 0.06, okay? So we get 0 0.06 times 1,000, which gives what? sixty dollars right so after end of year one our interest is sixty dollars and the balance is now this plus the interest right which would be one thousand and sixty right now end of year two when we did compound interest when we did compound interest we would and we've seen it we're going to see it again but we would take six percent of what's in the account right now which is a thousand sixty and then add that on and that makes sense uh, but that's compound interest it's not simple interest so for an account compound interest is definitely the most common thing simple interest is is common in uh, loans uh, but but it, it's it's not common in the you don't usually see it an actual like bank account that would give you simple interest but but it, it's something we need to uh, look at anyway. So, um, basically, simple interest is paid on the principal only, not on interest earned. Now, the interest earned is $60, so we don't pay simple interest on the $60, or, or, or earn uh, simple interest on the $60. We get 6% of the principal, which is the principal means the amount of money you started with. Okay? This is the principal, the, the first amount okay so or you know the thousand dollars that's the principal okay so we get uh, six percent of one thousand again which again is going to make sixty dollars so at the end of year two we earn another sixty dollars in interest and we add that on right so that would make one thousand one hundred and twenty dollars right so what do you think happens then in year three take a guess write it down Year three, it's simple interest. It's paid on the principal only, not on interest earned. The interest earned is actually $120. We don't earn interest on the 120. We just earn interest on the principal. So we don't do 6% of 1120, no, no. We do 6% of 1000. So we keep taking 6% of 1000 and we get sixty dollars we add that on and that's one one eighty right at the end of year four what happens last one
you know what happens? Again, we take 6% of the principal, which is $1,000, and that gives 60, and we add that on. So at the end of year four, we add $60 in interest again, and now we have 1,240, okay? On example two, we're gonna go over these questions. Um, so, so in fact, you know what we'll do is just to help your brain, um, we're going to write this out at least once, maybe even twice. So just write this down. Simple, because when you write it, uh, when you write something down, 40% of it goes to your long-term memory. So if you write down twice, that's even better. But simple interest is paid on the principal only. Okay? Not on sorry interest earned okay Does that makes sense it was paid on the thousand dollars you get six percent of the thousand dollars not on any of the interest that's been earned over the next few years so you can write it out again simple look at me writing it and I already know it if I can write it you can write it simple interest is paid on we got that just asking you to write one English sentence not a big deal on the principle only not on interest earned. Got it? Do you understand what it means? You're getting interest on the thousand dollars, you're not getting interest on the thousand sixty or the thousand and one twenty or the one thousand or eleven hundred and eighty and so on, right? Okay. So example two, we're gonna invest five thousand dollars in an account that pays simple interest of three percent each year. Find the total interest earned at the end of four years. So, see if you can press pause and do that one. And again, we could set up a similar little table. So you might want to do this. So what's the principal in this question? What's the principal amount, the first amount that you invest? $5,000, right? And it, at the end of year one, I didn't put year zero in this one, sorry about that, but I'm just gonna leave it out. So end of year one, we're gonna earn some interest. What are we gonna earn? 3% of the principal, right? What's 3% of 5,000? Can you get that? Write 3% as a decimal. 3% as a decimal, 0 0.03 times 5,000, right? Which is? 150 dollars, right? And so the balance is now the principal, 5,000, plus what? So at the end of year one, our interest earned is 150, and our balance is 5,150, right? How about year two? What happens in year two? Year two, we earn some interest. What interest do we earn in year two? Do we earn 3% of 5,150? Or is it 3% of 5,000? Which one? Simple interest, right? If it was compound interest, we'd be earning interest on what's in the account, period. But if it's simple interest, it's just interest earned on the principal, right? So 3% of 5,000 is, just calculated it, 150, right? And now at the end of year two, we earn another 150 in interest, so what's the balance now? Add this on, 5,300, okay? So quickly do years three and four, and write down the answer. Year three, we earn another 3% of 5,000, which is 150. 
and year four we earn another three percent of five thousand so we keep earning interest on the principal and we add 150 end of year three add 150 onto this and we get 5450 at the end of year four add 150 onto this and you got 5600 right so find the total interest earned at the end of four years find the balance of the account at the end of four years okay the balance of the account at the end of four years is five thousand six hundred dollars right the interest earned is we started with five thousand now we have five thousand six hundred so the interest to earn is six hundred dollars now we could also just add up the hundred and fifty see that if we add these up they would that would give us uh, six hundred as well right but what's a quicker way to do this whole question right what's a quicker way I mean, we could add up these guys but we could also do this 150 times what? 150 times what gives 600? times 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 years. 4 years getting $150 in interest gives $600. Then add that on to the 5,000. There's your answer. 5,600, right? So this is the f this would have been a faster way, wouldn't it? But it's good to do a little table just so we can see exactly what's going on. So now, can you do this one? Find the balance of the account at the end of 20 years. Invest three that five thousand dollars. Simple interest of three percent each year. What's the balance at the end of 20 years? Press pause and try it yourself. Did you try it? So for 20 years, we remember now that simple interest is what? Paid on the principal only, not on interest earned. So the balance is going to be, well, we're going to have some interest, which is uh, obviously 3% of the principal, 5,000, right? which is 0 0.03 times 5,000 of course which of course we know is 150 now we're going to get this at the end of every single year for 20 years so can't we just multiply that by 20 150 times 20 which gives three thousand dollars in interest altogether and so what's the balance then if we earn three thousand dollars in interest what's the balance well what happened to our five thousand dollars we gotta add that on don't we right so the balance is eight thousand dollars right how about this one find the balance of the account at the end of fifty years Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. So we're getting $150 of interest each year. We know that. And we've got to multiply that by 50 because it's 50 years, right? And uh, that will give $7,500 in interest. But don't forget to add the initial balance of 5000 so all together that should be adding these together $12,500 right so at the end of 50 years there should be this amount in the account right how about this find the total interest earned at the end of nine months find the balance in the account at the end of nine months. How about that one? Hmm. What sort of sense does that make? So you put five thousand dollars into an account that pays simple interest of three percent each year. You take the money out at the end of nine months. Now do you think you'll just get the five thousand? 
and they won't give you any interest because it wasn't in there for a year that's not how it works they'll give you something but will they give you a full hundred and fifty dollars of interest for the year because that's what we get per year hundred and fifty dollars interest per year I hope we understand that by now hundred and fifty dollars of interest each year do we get the, the whole hundred and fifty No, we don't get the whole 150, we get part of that, okay? And so, here's how it works. We're going to get a fraction of the um, 150. And what fraction is that going to be? Well, one thing you could do, and there's a few ways of doing this, but you guys might like to try to figure out the interest per month. I mean, this might be the nicest way to do it. If the interest per year is 150, what would be the interest per month? Any idea? Press pause and give it a go there. See if you can figure it out. Well, do you think it'd be take the 150 and divide by something? Divide by what? How many months in a year? 12 aren't there so how about we'll divide by 12 what does that give us 150 divided by 12 150 divided by 12 does it give 12.5 or 12 dollars 50 cents right okay so interest per month is twelve dollars fifty hope you agree with that so how much interest find the total interest earned at the end of nine months how can we do that one total interest earned at the end of nine months any idea would you take the twelve dollars fifty cents and multiply it by something multiply it by nine right what would that give one one two point five or hundred and twelve dollars fifty cents right because one month is twelve fifty so nine months is one hundred and twelve dollars and fifty cents right so if this is the total interest at the end of nine months what is the balance of the account at the end of nine months write it down. The balance? Well, hold on a second. We invested 5000 right? And this is the interest. So do we add the, the principal and the interest to get the balance, right? So 5000 one, one, two, fifty, right? Now, press pause and do this one all by yourself. Find the total interest earned at the end of 27 months. Find the balance of the account at the end of 27 months. Okay, I hope you press pause and try it. I'm going to do it really quickly now. The interest per month is the $150. $150 is interest per year that we earn on this account to pay simple interest. We divide that by 12 to get $12.50 per month. Now there's 27 months. What do we do to that number? Multiply it by what to get the total interest for 27 months? Multiply it by 27, right? So. That gives three three seven point five or three hundred and thirty seven dollars and fifty cents, right? Find the balance of the account at the end of twenty seven months. Write down the answer. The principal is five thousand. Our interest earned is three hundred and thirty seven thousand three hundred and thirty seven fifty. So the balance is five thousand three hundred and thirty seven dollars and fifty cents right now let's have a look at example three 
Assume a six month CD purchased for $4,000 pays simple interest at an annual rate of 4%. How much total interest does it earn? What is the balance at maturity? First of all, what does CD mean? CD equals certificate. Write it down. If you write it down, you will remember it better. Writing is what creates long-term memory, not watching. If you watch it, goes in one eye and out the other. So you got to write it down. CD equals certificate of deposit. I know this and I'm writing it, so I'm sure you can do it too. So here we go. Assume a six-month CD purchase for $4,000 by simple interest and annual rate of 8%. How much interest does it earn? What's the balance? Well, let's see. Um, a certificate of deposit means that uh, you promise to invest this 4000 and not to take it out until it six months have passed. And that's when it's mature, because this is a six-month certificate of deposit. If you take it out before then, you agree to pay a penalty, right? A, a, a large penalty. So you don't want to buy a certificate of deposit if you're planning on taking it out before it's mature. Some people use it for saving for uh, college loans uh, for their kids and, and stuff like that. So anyway, um, so what we need to do is find the, first of all, annual interest. Wouldn't you say? So what's the annual interest? How much interest do we pay per year? We pay 8% of the principal, right? 4000. What does that what does that make? 0.5% Eight or zero point zero eight, which got to move that decimal point one, two spaces left, and put in a zero. It's zero point zero eight. All means multiply, multiply by four thousand, which gives three hundred and twenty dollars. Right. So the annual interest is three hundred and twenty dollars. What's the monthly interest? Because this was annual rate of 8%. So they're promising you 8% per year, right? So that's why you get the 8% of 4,000 to get 320. That's the interest per year. Monthly interest is going to be what? You take your $320 annual interest and divide it by something. What do you divide it by? How many months in a year? 12, right? So we take our 320 divided by 12 and we get um, approximately twenty six dollars and sixty uh, six 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 so we will just um, well we'll just give it a few decimal points anyway six 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 seven how about that round it to four right when you're dealing with money just just to make sure you don't make a mistake right and so that's the monthly interest twenty six dollars and sixty about sixty seven cents right now, what is the how much total interest does it earn though? Because this is a six month certificate of deposit. So how much interest do we get? If this is this is the amount of interest you get in one month, how much interest are you going to get in six months? Interest in six months. We're going to take our 26 
at that number and multiply it by 6, right? To get the interest in 6 months. Or if it's on your calculator as an answer, just go ahead and hit multiply by 6. Enter. And you can do that on basic calculators as well. You could do that on a Casio if you had the if you just have one of these dinky little calculators, see if you if you have your answer there, twenty six point six six and just go ahead and hit multiply by six and equals, it'll give you hundred and sixty as well. Okay? So we didn't even really need to yeah type this in again. But in any case the answer is hundred and sixty dollars, right? Total interest it earns hundred and sixty dollars. What's an easier way to calculate hundred and sixty in this case? Six months is what fraction of a year? Half? And if we get three hundred and twenty dollars interest in one year, what's half of three twenty? Half of three twenty is hundred and sixty, right? So that's another way of doing it. What is the balance at maturity? Write down the answer. What is the balance at the end of six months? It's four thousand one hundred and sixty dollars, right? Now here's example four. Please press pause and try it yourself. Assume a thirty-month CD purchased for nine thousand dollars pays simple interest at an annual rate of three point five percent. How much total interest does it earn? What is the balance at maturity? And I'll just help you out. You've got to get annual interest first. So you can press pause and do the whole thing or do it step by step. So press pause and calculate the annual interest. Hope you've tried it. I'm going to do it now. Annual interest is annual rate of 3.5%. We need to get 3.5% of what? The principal, 9,000, right? Write this as a decimal. You've got to move this guy two spaces to the left and it's point zero. 3.5 or 0 0.035 times 9,000. So the annual interest is 315 dollars. Okay. After you get the annual interest, what do you need to get then? What's the next step? Well, it's a 30-month CD, so we want to know how much money we'll have after 30 months. So we need to know the monthly interest, right? How do you get the monthly interest? Press pause and get the monthly interest. You would get 315 in a year. How many months in a year? 12, so we need to divide this by 12. Did you get that? Right. And again, if 315 is in your calculator, just hit divide by 12, enter. Right. $26.25. That's the monthly interest. Now what do we get? It's a 30-month certificate of deposit. You need to know how much money is in there after 30 months. So we need to get the interest. after 30 months. How do we do that? Monthly interest is 26.25 and we need to multiply that by 30 to get what? And again that's in your calculator 26.25 just hit multiply by 30 enter. Right? Seven eight seven point five or seven eight seven fifty. So how much total interest does it earn? It earns seven hundred and eighty seven dollars and fifty cents. What is the balance at maturity? Write down the answer. The balance is the principal plus the interest. So it's gotta be nine thousand seven hundred and eighty seven dollars and fifty cents.